Hey guys, what is going on? We are back. <laughs> we are back. I am here to give you guys Ninja Sun, the beginning. Chapter 3, Choices. Now, um, I've done the last two episodes, which was um, the... I don't want to say the beginning, but that's the title of the book. <laughs> no, I gave you guys uh, Calm Before the Storm and Bromance. I explained those chapters, how, you know, I came with the idea and how, you know, it impacts everything that was going on. Now, Choices is another, uh, it's another chapter that basically puts uh, Pence Dion's decision making into question. He has so many things that just, you know, that just goes on to the point where he has no, you know, he doesn't know whether he needs to make this choice, that choice, or is so many choices he has to make. And one choice that he has to make, there is no option. Well, it's two choices that he has to make that is obviously no, um, there is no option to that. And what is that? I'll tell y'all in a minute. But as we get into it, let me go ahead and show y'all the book. Most of you guys already know what the book looks like, which came out on my birthday, um, June 1st of 2021. So this book is two years old. Well, it'll be three in, uh, well, technically it'll be two in um, June of this year. So yes, so this book right here is what we're talking about. And like I was saying, choices is the is chapter three. Now, um, in this chapter, huh, let me read y'all the uh, let me read y'all the table of content so y'all can really get grasp of what's going on. Um, Prince Dion comes to his team and try to demand respect. However, he has to learn to obtain in a, uh, to obtain it in a hard way. He also learned a truth. He never saw coming. So, that's basically what Choices is going to be about. So, in this right here is the build up to the finale, which is going to be chapter four. And in this, I'm going to have to, uh, in this chapter and chapter four, I'm really going to have to not spoil anything because I'm trying to keep this as spoiler free as possible. Because I still want, you still, you guys still have to read the book. I can, I'm not going to give you guys all of this goody goody. But for those of you, um, if you want, I will be doing a book club where you, uh, where uh, a virtual book club where you guys can come in and talk about the book with me, you know, ask me questions and stuff like that soon. But we're working on that, but I haven't gotten to that point yet. Um... But that will be on my website. So just know that'll be on the website. So I will be doing live streams from my website when it comes to book clubs. So um, when, that is a, when that is ready, I will let you guys know. And my website is right across the screen right here. So when you guys get a chance, go over there. And, uh, link is also in the description as well. Excuse me. So let's go ahead and get into it. Choices right now. Is picks up from a devastating um, ending in chapter two, where Dion has uh, found you know found out some things. I'm gonna just give y'all this little tidbit. His brothers do come back into the picture. However, it's not the way that you guys gonna really be thinking that his brothers are back into the picture. The brothers are in; they're back. Um, the whole royal family is back together. Now, King Raylan gets um, some information about his sons that he does not deem, you know, he doesn't deem it, you know, creditable. But once one of his psychics tells him, he has to make an ultimate decision. Uh, and that ultimate decision is to make um, Dion rightful king. And I'm going to just go ahead and give y'all that because y'all already know Dion is king. So, I mean, I have been touting that out for the longest. So, Dion is king. Um, but how he has to become king is a decision Dion really does not have a choice in the matter. Um, so, these are the two choices I was telling y'all about. But there were some other choices in the 
in the chapter that I'm not going to talk to y'all about because those are, you know, spoiler, those are spoiler heavy. But these two right here were main, you know, these were um, obvious choices um, because he's king. So, you know, and I told y'all all about it. So it's not like that's a huge spoiler. So the um, the way um, King Dion, I mean, King Raylan coronates Dion by giving him the Excalibur Diamond. Now, I'm not going to tell y'all how he gets it, because if I take that's very spoiler. That is spoiler heavy. I cannot tell y'all. Y'all have to experience that for yourselves. But I'm just going to say it was a grueling task. That's all I'm going to say. So, King Raylan uh, coronates Dion to be, you know, um, king. In the beginning, when I read that to you guys, Dion comes to demand respect from the team. However... When that goes wrong, now this is one of the choice. This is another choice, but it ain't really spoiling heavy. When he makes the choice to demand respect, he gets shown that respect is earned and not demanded. And uh, the team does come to his rescue. Once he becomes king, he humbles himself. And that's how the team literally becomes, to, you know, they comes to his aid and, you know, they then turn around and become, you know, uh, subordinate to him. They, um, except the ones that was already, you know, on his side. It was more of the ones that really didn't have, like, no, they didn't really have any confidence in him at all. But the rest who did have confidence in him, they were, you know, they were there. They was, you know, they were there. They basically was like, look, we got Dion. You know, we got your back. So, there's something that is amiss after um, Dion's coronation. And King Raylan, Queen Zarkaria, and the newly crowned King Dion goes out. Um, they go out on the terrace of, um, of one of the high um, the high towers of the palace, and the sky is red. Now y'all know when the sky is red, y'all already know what that means. This right here signifies that there's a huge war being taken up um, is being you know taking place. Now, Dion is scared shitless i'm just gonna say it he is scared he is frightened because even though he has the escalibur diamond he does not have the true power of it just yet his father basically you know had um still had residual power of the escalibur diamond in his body but not enough to take on the entire fleet that is coming towards them so y'all already know who this is um, that's coming towards, uh, who's coming towards the palace. I've been, I've been hitting at it. I've been telling y'all this villain, he's coming. And not only is he coming, he has two subordinates on his side. Y'all already know who they are. So this right here is about to turn into something that I, you know, when I was writing it, I couldn't imagine how this was going to turn out. And when I tell you, Chapter four is the final um is the final chapter and how it actually turned out. I I myself could not even believe it. I was like, I couldn't even believe that I wrote this. You know, well, I could believe it, but you know, my mind was just going miles a minute and how I was typing, how I was writing. This scene that's on uh, this chapter that is about to come up is about to throw you guys for a loop. And when I tell you guys, um, this one chapter um, changes the whole dynamic of my Ninja Warriors. It does, but I'm gonna I'm not gonna uh, sit here and ramble anymore because if I ramble, you guys are gonna be trying to find out what's going. You know, uh, y'all gonna be asking me all these questions. What happened? What happened? Go buy the book. It's on Amazon. Link is in the description. <laughs> make sure y'all, um, when you do buy the book, make sure you guys leave a review on uh, Amazon to show people that, you know, that you either enjoyed it or you disliked it. 
you know, give your honest opinion of the book. All right, guys, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow for Chapter 4. And when we get there, I want to know you guys' this whole opinion of the book. I love you all. Y'all be safe. And I will see you guys later.